Hello again. This is take two because I forgot to turn the music off the first time and I'm not making that mistake anymore. This has a spritz of blaster in the bottom. This is, oh it says we have 17 minutes left on the clock, which means more. Anyway, rice bowl, nice and shallow, nice and shiny. Lacquer keeps the paint from sticking, cleans up really good. I'm just going to keep adding colors to my, to my spoonable bowl, my scoop bowl. And I have this idea that I want to try. I keep seeing people do ring pours and some of them are really turning out magnificently now. I'm very impressed. I didn't like them at first and I'm happy that that's changing. But that's not my idea. I also have seen people do puddle pours. Once upon a time, I did an awesome puddle pour. I should have left it alone. It would have been so nice if I had just left it alone, just in the puddles. But no, I had to do something else and I wound up washing paint off. So i um, not super, super happy with puddle pours all the time. And not sure what I'm gonna get from this, but I'm willing to use whatever I have left over in the end to uh, do another painting with. I'm looking for that right there. I'm telling you what, the colors are going to have to get a little prettier than they are right now. Now that's my nasty pink that always makes things pop. And everything goes better with orange. Oh my god, I'm turning into my mother. Thank god I don't have an orange couch. Well, it's red, but <laughs> who's counting? Anyway, so, turquoise, my favorite color. Um, I have like 10. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to keep saying my favorite color about all kinds of stuff. I like that red over there. Maybe a little more red. I tend to get carried away if I forget what I'm doing because I'm going, woo, shiny, woo, pretty. Anyway, I've got some pearl and that needs to go in there. Give it a little shake. Every time I force color into the bottom of that dish, it brings the silicone up. This is a color I don't have in there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a color shift. You can't beat that with a stick, I'm telling you what. I don't think I'm going to use my heat gun today. I've seen some so awesome results with the heat gun that it's just really hard not to want to do that. Okay, I'll just go to the side. I'm going to use my little spoon. Probably going to use my spatula to remove excess colors. I'm going to start my puddle pour. How am I going to do that? Am I going to spread paint on the canvas? I am. And I'm going to do it the easy way. By pouring it on. And I have seen people are finally catching on to the fact that you don't have to use a metal spatula to spread paint. And I think just a nice little even coating will help everything slide better. It's warm out here today, but it's not, you know, I don't think paint is going to dry any faster than usual. But I do have to move, and I do have some other nice colors, and I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping is to start with a puddle pour. I might wind up wasting some paint, but you know what? You never find out anything if you're not willing to waste a little paint sometimes. Oh, that just, <laughs> that doesn't even sound right to me. It doesn't sound like me talking. She's been taken over by aliens. Oh, no. All right, let's... Everybody, pray for no bugs, please. <laughs> I'm so tired of having double bugs doing the humpy hump, landing in my painting. <laughs> anyway, in the bucket goes the spatula. I think I'm going to, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to take my favorite blue that I just made up a bunch, and I'm going to put a puddle of it. Because I can. And I've never done this before. You know what? What's better than one puddle? two puddles and that three puddles now maybe i'm going to switch colors on and off what colors do i want i want colors that are kind of similar to each other first and i'm going to do that again over here and over here and i don't have a lot of that color left but what i really want to do put some of that scooped stuff in there and then play with it. And I've got a bottle of white standing by and from what I was watching this morning I can create negative space. I don't know if this is going to work. I know I can probably fix anything I screw up. 
question is, do I want to continue getting down to some silicone there and squeeze some more color in there? Do I want it to be black? Do I want it to be white? What do I want it to do? I'm going to do that. I'm going to force that out because I can. Ooh, I think we've got a flow troll bug. I don't necessarily know whether I'm going to maintain any of the, the scoopable colors, but I know it's an experiment and I know I'm going to have some fun, so I'm okay with that. I want to squeeze outside my puddles. I have some darker blue here, there it is. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm not so sure about that turquoise color, but two colors that are similar next to each other, or in the same family, I should say, are usually pretty good together. I think it's worth that risk right there. And maybe finish up with... Yeah. I'm a big fan of orange and purple, and orange and pink. Speaking of pink, do I dare? Yeah, okay. Hey, that didn't look that bad there. And I still have colors. How about some white? Because I can. I like that. But I like this too. Pretty soon I'm going to have to be looking for my edge catcher. Let's do a little ring pour in the middle of these. And you know why, because we can. It looks like my surface is a little unlevel today. Let's turn that around so we're at least flowing in more than one direction. I'm gonna take this. Holy cow. All right, that's looking pretty cool. I think I brought an edge catcher. I didn't. Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool. Right here. Let's, um, let's squeeze some color down here. See if we can make this roll this way. I've been looking forward to trying this for a while. Let's catch an edge and push it back. Will it work? See, right now I'm I'm be like, hey, if I don't do anything to this, I'd probably be fine. I'm liking with the silicone and the puddle pores are doing. I don't know if I really want to get rid of all that white. I kind of like it. I don't want that cup completely covering. At least I didn't put white on my edges, which is good, because that means I can still hold on to my canvas. I am thinking... Wow, I really like all that there, but I want it to go that way. Yep, I'm going to make a mess. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes you got to break some eggs to make an omelet. That is kind of cool. How much paint do I have down there? Not bad. Wow. Really not bad at all. So I think I'm just going to be myself and kind of freaky and see what happens when I use my skewer to pull some stuff out. Maybe some more stuff. Maybe I can still paint. That's something I like to do. I like to still paint. I think the thing with the skewer at this point is to find some paint I can steal and let it go down over the side and use my thumb to knock it in. 
I thought I might have a little more white space, but being that this, this is my first one, I'm not really going to worry about it. And that was weird. I'm not sure that, how that happened. Let's let all this go down over the edge. I'm just tap it in place with my finger. Let's find my nice wet rag. Tools or no tools, nice to have a big cotton rag that you can wipe your wipe your skin off with. I think I love not being covered in sticky paint. So there will probably never be a time when I won't have a wet rag handy. I don't mind that. It's easy enough to lead. Ah, we lost the sun. I think if I take a straw or a spatula. take all this here and lead it over the edge a little bit. Let's do the same over here. I've got some of that color right in my dish. I'm going to use it on the edges right now because I can. I'm going to wipe off my spatula. Look at that other color there. Decide that it can get Assimilated. Maybe a little white there. That's pretty cool. It just doesn't look like anything I've ever done before. I want to do something here with this gold. This is different, huh? Do I want to keep that white? That is a question I don't have the answer to. Boy, we did that pretty quick. I'm not unhappy. I'm going to take all my paint that I have left here and just use it over there because I can. And it's still pretty and there isn't, looks pretty and there isn't enough of it to do another painting right now. And it's still wet enough to not have to sacrifice, which is always a good thing. Unless you just stuck your finger in your painting. In which case, I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, I apologize to anybody. Ooh, look at all that paint on that edge catcher. That's gorgeous. I'm just going to let that run right down here. And use that. Running right off the end of my spatula. If I don't like the colors, I'll just blow it away. There's some really neat colors in there. But I wouldn't know we're there unless I was willing to blow on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to make that corner black because I have some black up here. You probably can't see that corner at all. There you go. I'm sure you can see it better now. Yeah, that's what I want. That and for my painting to not blow away. I'm just going to cover that whole corner right now. I'm into a black phase. I think I started something. I noticed a lot of people are working on black canvases suddenly, which is fine. We can all share. I'm good with that. Make some weird spirals, maybe some more. Spirals. I'm going to put a couple of spirals right in there. Dull end down. And my reservoir in the bucket. Because otherwise, no matter how well I expect it to clean up from being lacquered, it may not clean up as well as I'd like if I let it sit too long. I'm not hating this. I haven't used a torch on it yet. I still got a couple of white spaces. I also got a couple of little wet rags I can wipe under the bottom with, which just makes it a lot easier to pick up. Throw it in the bucket, then it'll be there when I need it. What am I going to do with that? I think I'm going to throw my favorite color in there because it's right here and I like it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. 
that elsewhere first. Yep, that's what I wanted. Cool. I love getting my way. Oh my god. <laughs> Especially since that color is kind of see-through. But since it's floating right there, and I'm going to stick the skewer in it, and just sort of lead it down. Roll it over ever so slightly and lead it down. Paint will flow. That is for certain. As long as it's wet, it's going to flow. I'm liking that. Especially the funky, funky extra celly things going on. I want to show my husband. What else do I want? I want just ever so much. Just a little tiny bit more of that color right where it leads the eye around inside for a better composition. Am I going to keep it or is it going to go away? That's the question. I don't think I need the white this time. I'll try that another time. I think that color is tuck. <laughs> Can't help it. I'm going to check my edges. Right after I stop recording, I'm going to put this over here for you. Again, where you can actually see it. Put one of my signature spirals in there. I'm going to wipe off my skewer in between. Sometimes when the paint is thick especially, it makes it easier to lead it if there's none on it already. Alright, so that's my little signature right up there. Let's see if I can keep myself from doing that everywhere. I really want to use that heat gun, but um, the torch will probably go out. But I don't care because this is really neat. Heat is always better without bubbles. And there's my irritating timer. That means we got about three minutes left. See that little white scraggly thing is kind of bugging me. Other than that, I got that's one heck of a paisley. That is just really super wild wild. And that exceeded at my expectations in some ways. And just making my imagination run wild with the stuff I could do with this. Really and truly. I'm going to take my little skewer. Excuse me. That's not a skewer. That's my spatula. <laughs> my words get tangled sometimes lately. Such is life. All right. I'm going to see what you can see. Make sure you can see what I can see. Mm, sort of. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought I was giving you a better shot at that than that. Well, I think you can see most of that. How about that? Perfect, look at that. Okay, well, you and I have done something completely new for me together, and it's cool, <laughs> and I'm happy. Thanks for stopping. See you soon. Bye for now.